talk on YouTube. Paul here, Music Villa, Bozeman, Montana. Yep. Checking out. You need to tune more? I might. Okay. Checking out a new Martin Custom Shop. Okay, this is one that we had done. And it's pretty unique. I don't know if you can tell on the video here, but this is, you know, you have single O, double O, triple O, then you have quad O, okay? There is actually a fourth O, right? Quad O. Quad O, I call it. Four O, four aught, four zero zero zero, whatever. Mm -hmm. And, or the M36, like the M36 is also that same body shape, right? Mm -hmm. It's one bigger than a triple O. But this one's unique because it's a 12 fret. So it, it kind of elongates this part of the body. So it, it looks different. I don't think many people have seen this body shape before. I, I you know, when you, when I first walked in, I'm going to flip it over. Right. Which is, I mean, I just, yeah. I was like, what it, is this it thing? Looks, it looks like a, it looks different. It's, it's not, uh, it doesn't bring to mind the standard series that you expect. Right. Which is by design. Right. No pun intended. Yeah. Well, um, I don't think they make it in a, you know, you can get the 4 aught or mm -hmm. the M that's the same mm -hmm. body shape. It's the same body shape as the jumbo too, but the jumbo is actually a wider here. Mm -hmm. So this is a little thinner, just like an OM. Yeah, I'm low. sure the pictures will show yeah. it, but I mean, I'm just going to turn yeah. it real quick into the frame so you can see this is this is thin. Yeah, it's, it's thin. It's not it's not a big uh, right. deep body. It's not, but you get the deep kind of well, body that's what I was tone. Say. But I, this I, one again is a different I'm start animal back. altogether because it's. Back. So I, I think what you get out of this guitar is um, you get the power and bass of a dreadnought. Yes. But you get the comfort of you know yeah. a guitar that kind of sits right up against you and you can maneuver, especially with the 12 fret. So yep. it's very playable. Finger, um, finger pick it too. Let's see what. Okay. It, uh, there you go. Let's see what kind just, of. Yeah, uh, just take commands. Right. Well, Tell me what to do. You should I, finger pick it. <laughs> Right? No, that's it. Okay, that's fine with me. Let's switch it up. This is this is a, you like it? a very very cool instrument. The top is Adirondack yep. mahogany back and yep. sides. Mahogany back and sides. And custom uh, shop. We uh, yeah playability. We picked that out. We picked out the woods at the custom shop and just mm -hmm. had this built just for fun. It's something yeah, different. No, it's, it's something, totally cool. Uh, this is uh, this is a very unique instrument. It's this is type of instrument that um, yeah you'd be yeah. at home in a bluegrass pick and circle or yeah and the, and the guys are gonna go oh look he's bringing out his yeah. little uh, little yeah. Martin there. And then you strum it and you go, yeah, I'm here. They're I'm here go. with uh, you bluegrass boys. I, I've arrived. Yeah. No, cool. this thing is very cool. Thanks for watching. We're going to get on to the demo of this one. Quentin, yeah. thanks for coming down. You bet. Always good to see you. Pleasure. We do play in a band together, me and Quentin. Right. right? So, we what, should. Uh, why yeah. don't I play guitar? Because I play drums. Because you're a drummer. I'm a drummer, but I'm yeah. a guitar. For the same reason lover. I don't play drums. Right. I play guitar. Do you have a show about drums where you geek out and you know all the specs of no, drums? No, I don't. That's why same. I think I really respect your ability to, like, uh, you know, show your Renaissance man characteristics. You. I don't know it all. I'm never going to claim I know it all about guitars, but mm -hmm. I do love acoustic guitars so much yeah. that. Sometimes I feel like when I'm showing it to a, a true guitar player, I have a so unbiased opinion about them. Because, mm -hmm. but I do know I can tell the necks. I know what the necks feel like and everything like that. I can play a few chords. I can do this and that, you know. But mm -hmm. I feel like 
you know, when you're selling a guitar to someone and you're unbiased about your opinions and stuff, it's it's mm -hmm. it's a better experience for the say, buyer. I don't you know. No, I think it's great. And um, I almost chopped off this finger the other day, so yikes. I can't even use this one. Oh, my goodness. That's awful. Right there. That's... And that's my favorite chord is my G. Yeah. So when now you hold I, now a guitar, I have to go like that. When you, I'm just going to say, when you hold a guitar, it's, it's not that it looks unnatural, but it doesn't look quite as comfortable. When you're sitting behind drums, I've seen you. Yes. It's like you could be asleep and keep the time and beat. That when you hold true. the guitar, just then you had the look of like a brand new father holding a baby for the first <laughs> time. Like, not exactly sure what to I, do with this. Yes, that's true. So uh, That's true. I no, know three chords, and I know those three very well. Three chords in the truth, man. That's yep. all you need. That's it. Three.